Hello, this is Matthew Campagna from TheTurningGate.net. Today is Tuesday, October 20th, 2009, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Windows Safe Mode, which is an option currently found in TTG High Slide Gallery and High Slide Gallery Pro, and in TTG Shadow Box Gallery. To quickly explain the problem, uh, there are a minority of Windows users for whom these galleries will lock up Lightroom. Uh, the program will freeze when you load them, and you need to force quit the application and relaunch in order to get things working again. Um, this is not a problem that affects wi most Windows users. Uh, people who have tested galleries for me, many of them have not had this issue. Uh, and in my own test installations of Windows, I have never experienced this issue. So it's definitely not something that applies to all Windows users. It's just a select few. Um, and it does not affect Mac users. Uh, the problem arises because Lightroom uses your system's native web browser to render the gallery preview. And the gallery preview is this area here where we actually see the website rendered in Lightroom. Um, on a Mac, Lightroom uses Safari to show that preview of the web page. And on Windows, it, of course, uses Internet Explorer. And therein lies the problem. Uh, Internet Explorer is used in what we're going to call embed mode, which is where the Internet Explorer application is embedded into another application, in this case, Lightroom. Uh, and for some reason, when that happens, uh, certain JavaScript can cause errors. Um, in the case of the TTG High Slide Gallery, it's something that's in the High Slide JavaScript that causes the freeze because of these, this incompatibility with Internet Explorer in embed mode. Uh, and in Shadowbox, it's the Shadowbox JavaScript. Um, or more specifically the Shadowbox 3 JavaScript because this problem did not exist using this Shadowbox 2 JavaScript library. Um, but so that's the issue. Uh, like I said, for a few Windows users, for a minority of Windows users, these two day galleries can lock up Lightroom. So I've introduced safe mode and I'm going to show you how to use it and what its limitations are. Um, so normally we would come up here and we would load a gallery. I'm going to load the high slide gallery. And once that renders, it brings up the licensing agreement, which I'll get out of our way. And then the next checkbox down is this, Windows Safe Mode. Now normally what's going to happen is it's going to load up with that turned off. And uh, if you, Lightroom does not freeze, you can go ahead and use it. You can push a button image pops up, it behaves the way it's supposed to. But, let's assume for a moment that when I loaded it, it froze. So I will have to restart Lightroom and go back into the web module. And probably that would leave me here again with the Lightroom HTML gallery. So the question becomes, how do I get to High Slide Gallery without it freezing? And the answer is to use one of the included safe mode templates. So if you go to wherever you have your high slide templates located, um, there should be two groups. There's the high slide gallery and then there's high slide gallery safe mode. And if you don't have them in folders, then it'll say safe mode on the end of the template name, like here's concrete, high slide, safe mode. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just load that one. Any of these will do the same thing, just loads that design. And when it does, you will see that the safe mode checkbox is now turned on. Uh, and you should be able to go through the panes now and configure the gallery as you normally would. The exception, however, is that when we click on an image, high slide doesn't work. And this is because in safe mode, that JavaScript is not being included in the, uh, the preview, so it's not going to work. Um, but you can go through, you can set up all the high slide options, you can set up the options for the grid. Um, but probably you're going to at some point want to see the changes you're making to high slide. I mean, we can make all the changes we want to the grid. 
um, if I come down here, I'll just change something so you can see it very quickly. Um, so as you can see, the, the HTML all changes just fine. Not a problem. Um, but it's that high slide. It just won't launch. So uh, what you need to do to get that working is preview the gallery in your browser. And hopefully it's going to load that preview on the right display. It probably won't. Building preview. And of course it takes a moment. Um, for this reason it's good to work with a gallery that only has a few images in it. Don't do this with a gallery of 30 images. If you're going to test this, test it with a gallery of one or two images, or in my case four. And still you saw how long that took. Um, so here it is. This is the gallery as previewed in a browser. And now if I click it, high slide works just fine. So you're going to have to use that preview in browser uh, option to test the high slide functionality. But once you export this, of course, everything is going to work just fine. It's just you can't use high slide in the Lightroom preview when the uh, safe mode is enabled. And the same exact thing goes for the shadow box gallery. Um, you're going to have to check that out in the preview in browser in order to, to view how high slide launches and the high, or sorry shadow box launches with the shadow box behavior. Um, so I hope that clears things up on the safe mode, what it's for, why it's in there, and how to use it. And uh, thank you for watching. Now go forth and make beautiful websites.